Ahead of Veterans Day, we honor those that have served our country. A Marine Corps veteran from central Pennsylvania is shining a light on a foundation that gave him a second chance at life. Fox 43's Lindsay Barner here with how Zach Stinson's journey and what he's now trying to achieve. Yeah, he competed multiple times on the world stage, but this one by far would be the biggest one yet. He's 13 years ago, the life of Chambersburg's Zach Stinson changed forever. Stinson was nearly killed in Afghanistan, then turned his tragedy into an inspiration. We shine the sports spotlight on Stinson's hope of qualifying for the 2024 Paralympics. Through persistence and determination, Chambersburg Marine Corps veteran Zachary Stinson stays true to his training. I learned real quickly, like I, I just world's going to keep spinning. You just got to kind of move with it. And uh, it's worked pretty well for me so far. During his only tour in Afghanistan in 2010, Stinson stepped on an IED and nearly died. I jumped the, the wall and took a few steps on the other side and then boom. So from there, I, I kind of landed uh, my head in the dirt and kind of like bent in half. Um, I, I didn't lose consciousness. Um, I said a prayer um, and, and told my team leaders to tell my wife that I loved her because I didn't think I was coming home. Stinson did come home but lost both of his legs. He had 25 surgeries before starting a long rehabilitation process. Two years after his near-death experience, Stinson wanted to find his purpose after the Marine Corps. Yeah, Zachary! He competed in his first Marine Corps marathon in hand cycle, but it wasn't until 2018 that he took athletics seriously and really started training. Stinson competed around the world in triathlons from January of 2021 to March of this year before switching back to hand cycling marathons. He won the 2023 Boston Marathon, but not without battling a few obstacles. I was two miles in and I had a big chain issue, had to jump off my bike, had to fix it. I went into this pit stop um, in second. I was running with a group of about five guys. And uh, when I came out of it, I was in 11th. I didn't have a mirror. That broke off whenever I did the pit stop thing. So uh, couldn't see who all was behind me, but I, I guess like a shark, you're just moving forward. He says he wouldn't have been able to do any of this without the help and support of the Semper Fi and America's Fund. There's no how-to guide to getting blown up. The fund took care of my family whenever I couldn't. And that was a big step for me. I mean, my focus was completely on recovery while their focus was making sure that all my family uh, was taken care of so that I could be at my best. Fast forward 13 years and 14 marathons later, Stinson has a goal of qualifying for his first Paralympics in Paris 2024. I hope to inspire people and make people want to push themselves to be better. As Stinson continues to train, he's also trying to be a voice for the program that helped him find another purpose. For more information on the fun, it can be found on our website, fox33.com.